Hello and welcome to NERCL screencast for the Turbiner Enterprise software. This will cover version 2.8 release 15. How to configure the PC client audio. A little obvious, first off we need to locate the PC, docking station, laptops, audio ports. If they're on the front of the machine typically you'll have some symbols denoting microphone and headset or colour coded pink and green in this case again a little obvious but you'll need the, the matching headset that plugs into these ports typically on the headset plugs you'll, you'll have the same symbols as the sockets obviously plug the mic into the mic headset into the headset from experience the USB style headsets for gaming aren't as good as the three and a half millimeter plugs that's just my preference um, you pr if you have experience with USB headsets by all means try them first thing we need to do is check the headsets actually interface with the PC correctly the easiest way to do this is to navigate to the Windows sound recording application record some sample speech save it and then play it back if it all sounds great you're halfway there typically on the start menu all programs accessories where we sound recorder click start recording record some audio testing one two three four five testing one two three four five stop the recording it's going to ask where we're going to save it I'll just save it to the desktop Here's the final one, two, three, four, five. Team zapped. Save it. It should appear here. Put it out the way. Click on the file. And as you can see from the waveforms, I can hear it in my earpiece. I don't think you can hear it on the screencast. What I have done in the past is uh, with Windows Media Player, if you right click, go to visualizations, go to bars and waves, go to scope. You can then get a there you go. What I've just recorded sounds fine, but if I wanted to have a little tweak at a few elements of it, um, I'll show you how to do that. On Windows 7 Professional, the quickest way to do this is to right click on the headphones icon at the bottom right hand corner. If you have a sound card installed that isn't the default sound card, you may have other symbols on here. Right click recording devices one two three as you can see a little green tick on this microphone indicates this is the one I'm using it's the default device one two three four five recording some audio you can see a little bar graph there if I double click on it go to levels you see two settings microphone level and the microphone boost microphone boost typically is I think you get a plus 10 dB, 20 dB and 30 dB um, with a combination of these two level settings you can normally get where you need to be on the level front this is obviously for Windows 7 and I believe Vista is the same I know XP is not as flexible it's typically a tick box for microphone boost but again this will depend on the audio drivers installed within XP Just give that a little boost maybe to plus 20 dB click OK, click OK, gain do another recording. One, two, three, four, five with the new settings. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to ask where we're going to do it again. We'll just go to the desktop and go just overwrite the one, two, three, four, five file. Yes, replace. Thank you. And again, open it up. Yep, sounds great. Because of the audio adjustments there, my voice might seem a bit louder or a bit more or boosted as the term is used. Uh, if you have a deep voice, of course, that isn't always a great thing. Next thing we need to do is to open the Turbonet Dispatch Program now. I'll just close the sound recorder box down. And I'll just right click on the, the sample audio and just delete that while I'm while I'm here. Good housekeeping. Um, there we go. There's the turbo there's there's the typical standard Turbonet Dispatch Program. Double click on it. It should log on as administrator automatically. It's just talking to the radio server there. 
there we go um, I'll go through all the other details and other screencasts but initially what we're really interested in for the time being is we need to navigate we've got to make sure this program is actually set up with the headset that we have just plugged in or the desk mic headset headphones that we've got are planning to use the easiest way to do this is to go on the, on the top here menus is a menu option called tools select tools go to options within options there's a menu tab saying hardware and again configure audio devices and you have a playback device and recorder device in this particular instance I'm just using the premier the premium sound driver and the premium sound capture driver again you probably got various options you can certainly play with them um, by all means but as long as you use one that works for you that's all that really matters click OK again another quick test if it's set up is if you hit the in, in this particular instance we've got intercom option short we've got no other online dispatchers to talk to directly but we'll click intercom one two three four five and as you can see you can see a transmit and receive level there and there's lots of waveforms there gives you the indication that we're <laughs> that we've selected the right items you'll also notice that in your recent call stroke event log the intercom call there which was about 12 seconds long is recorded so if you wanted to listen back to what we just recorded select it press playback and there we go I can hear my voice there it sounds fine again I can do the same with my two master radios attached VHF1 and UHF1 press the PTT button one two three four five one two three four five as you can see the similar waveform the VHF1 UHF1 one two three four five one two three four five again an encouraging waveform overall M3 um, conversations were recorded um, we've got UHF1 recording VHF1 recording and we have an intercom caller again as an example click on VHF1 playback and there you go and all these audio levels should be very similar if not exactly the same as what we were set up before in our recording samples we just did at this point if the audio level still needed tweaks a little bit or just played with that's the that's easiest way to learn play with the settings you can either do one of two things we can either right click on the loudspeaker icon go to recording devices double click microphone again go to levels and either reduce the level a little bit or reduce the boost typically and turn the level up a little bit click OK click OK or we can if I'm logged on as an administrator here this res this will reveal the administer option click on that within master radios option down here double click and there's show me like my two master radios I have on my demo setup VHF1 and UHF1 if I double click on VHF on the right hand side is a volume tab and again RX audio and TX audio again I'm sure you can tweak these a little bit if you need to or if you reset them so there's two ways to alter the audio which is quite quick and with normally with a combination of the two we can get where we need to be again just to recap open up the dispatcher software navigate the tools options within options we go to hardware then we need to configure the audio devices which is the audio device connected to the client we can also alter some of the levels if we log on as administrator navigate to the administer section master radios select a master radio and then navigate to the volume section and again you have a RX audio and a TX audio section there I think that sums it up if you need any further details please contact me thank you